we're, we're at the point today where people don't even know how to do good characterization. They really don't. Uh, and it's because the the woke, the the uh, progressive ideologues or the progressive ideology has taken over in the Hollywood writers. It's taken over to the extent where I've said this before, even writers who used to write really well and used to give us great, whether it's comic books or movies or TV shows or whatever, they themselves just can't seem to write likable characters anymore. They can't seem to write stories that people are interested in actually sticking around to see how they end. Captain Marvel is a case in point. I almost wanted to put her in the, the Marvels somewhere, you know, in the thumbnail. She was written to be the 100% poster child for the feminist movement. She was billed as though she was the first female superhero ever, which was baloney. Not even in recent years, you know. DC beat him to that, and and you know there's many in the 90s and whatnot, but that was the uh, that was the the package. That was she was a poster child. She wasn't a real character. People who said they liked her character really didn't. They just liked that she was an an entity on screen that parroted their their values that they were trying to get out there. Uh, she was incredibly unlikable, and Brie Larson was a part of that too. The actress herself and all of her persona and public you know imaging and everything was totally unlikable. So no one cared about the character. If they did, that film would have had a sequel years ago. Don't even try. And you know, when it came out, people were trying to spin it. No, it, it was. It actually was really, uh, really, you know, successful because of this. No, if it was successful, if people gave a darn about it in any way, it would have had a sequel right off the bat. It didn't because they knew no one cared about this character, you know, and there were rumors, which I'm sure were probably ideas thrown around the producing room at some point about how uh, they were going to pair her up with Spider-Man because Spider-Man was so likable that maybe it would kind of rub off on her a little bit, you know, it didn't. Then they did their Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel series. Same thing. Completely unlikable character. Not even unlikable. I won't even say unlikable. Bland. Because unlikable is at least something to engage with, right? Unlikable is, is um, you know, a character that's kind of villainous or whatever. You kind of love to hate in some way. Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel character was just an automaton, a completely emotionless. This is the party line for the woke. You know, that's just what she would say. And that's just what she would, you know, uh, exude. Kamala Khan is the same thing. Kamala Khan, that show, and I didn't bother watching it, but I've seen enough reviews of it and clips of it. It, it just really heavily assumed and even tried to strong arm you into thinking, no, you do like this character. No, you already like this character. Shut up. You like the character. Let's let her be adorable, you know, and it just wasn't. No one really cared for her. Um, so it's no it's no wonder that this Marvel's movie they're you know, they're they're pushing it out. They're, you know, um, you know, delaying it and whatnot, because they know they've got another dud and they're, you know, they, they've got to be worried because nothing that they've put out has really been worth a crap. It's just, uh, you know, what have they done that people have gotten excited about? And I mean, genuinely excited about. Even the Loki series, people pretended that was actually written. No, it wasn't. You just like Tom Hiddleston, who's admittedly incredibly charismatic and great in that role. But uh, but the story itself wasn't worth anything. WandaVision had its hangover fans who were just, you know, but I really like the character from the other stuff. It doesn't mean they're going to do anything good with it. Now, the ideology has taken root. That's what's in effect now. 